here at the end. Um, today's class is going to be a basic mat workout. So I know it's been a while, maybe some of you have done the last class, maybe you just did a class in my previous video. Uh, so what I want to get out of this class is for all of us, for all of you actually, to go back to the basic, learn the basics that will get your Pilates practice started again. Um, and then for you to come back to this video again whenever you need it. So let's give it a go. Right, so let's start again with the breathing because breathing, we, we need to breathe. We don't breathe, we die. Okay, so again, we like my previous video. Uh, let's place your hands here or like so. I'm just doing here for the sake of the video because then you can see what my rib cage movement is about or is like. Okay, again, you can do it here or here. So in Pilates, we do a lateral breathing, lateral diaphragmatic breathing. Okay, so again, we're going to start inhaling. Expanding the ribs sideways, taking care that you don't blow the belly out, but I'm gonna blow the belly out like so. Okay, so none of those. So expand the ribs sideways and exhale, the ribs are deflated, and I want them to draw that abdominal wall up towards the ribs. So the ribs go this way. The pelvic floor, the abdomen rises up and the mid in the middle. Okay? And we inhale and exhale. And if you want to, if you feel like your belly is still sticking out, place one hand in front of your belly, one on the side of the ribs, and then try as you inhale, do not pull the belly out. Transfer the air that you breathe through the nose to your lungs. And that's it, not the abdominal. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. One more time. Towards your feet. Now the neck is nice and long. The nose is pointing up towards the ceiling here. Let's do a few more breaths here. Inhale, your breath page expand to the sun. As you exhale, again draw that abdominal up. And I want you to allow the back of the body to settle down to the ground. Two more breaths. Lengthening the neck, easing up the shoulder, waking up the feet, waking up your fingertips, releasing that chest. One more. And then let's do some pelvic floor. So inhale. And as you exhale again, you draw the abdomen up, allow that to rock, tilt the pelvis, pressing the sacrum onto the floor, and then release on the knee below. And exhale. And an inhale. And exhale, abdominal deflating. Scooping up deeper into the lower back and an in breath. Now, why don't you go sort of level by level? So, as you keep rocking, you go a little higher onto your back and releasing back into 
the neutral position. So recapping what is neutral as we're doing this rocky is when your pubic bone and two hip bones, when you line up, when you line your back, the cranial triangle, it should be so horizontal to the ground here. Yeah? So and exhale, pull up. Inhale, back to the neutral. And exhale, pull up. Inhale. You notice that I'm starting to go higher up my spine. And my rock's getting bigger here. And then let's take it to a pelvic row, guys. So break up, tilt, rocket, and curl it up all the way to the bridge. Again, let's take a moment here. Engage your inner thigh. Make sure your knees do not flap around to the side. Keep that lean line from the center of your hips to that knee joint. Run the knee joint out to your toes. Second toes, that is. And then breath out, release the chest, allow the spine to articulate down, right back to the neutral position. Breath out, pelvic tip, curl it up, hamstrings are on, glutes are on. If you squeeze too much, the glute your knee is going to go out to the side. So engage your inner thighs, your adductors as you draw that abdominal into your heart. And breath out. And release, back to neutral. And again, exhale. Take this as a little massage for your spine, for the day, guys. I'm not sure you're doing this in the morning, in the day, in the afternoon, in the evening, anytime. Just take this as a little release of that tension of the back. Let's do one more time. In breath. Exhale as you walk it to the pelvis and curl it up to your bridge. In breath at the top. Exhale. We walk it down. And come back to that neutral pelvis. Let's bring your knees together, feet together. Now you can have your hands by the side here, just slightly wider than your palm, than your mat, or you can have your arms to the side in the T position. I'm just going to take it down here because maybe you don't have enough space at home. I'm not sure, so I'm just keeping the space quite tight around your mat here. So I want you to come up onto the tiptoe. So. Tuck or squeeze the inner thighs together here like you're wearing a pencil skirt. For the ladies, sometimes I could be imagery of you know a mermaid tail or a merman for those of you guys, gentlemen practicing practicing this at home. So spine twist of time. We're going to rotate or turn or twist the spine. Let's go towards the camera here. I want you to twist that spine towards me. And exhale, I want you to rotate it back. Your ribs comes in, your waist comes in, your pelvis comes back to center. And over to the other side, keep the thighs snapping together. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. If you feel there's a lot of tension in your neck, trying to keep everything engaged, just turn your head to the opposite direction. Yeah? Keep it a little free. Exhale, and in breath, exhale, and in breath, and exhale, and in breath, so one more set here, exhale, and the last one, heels down, Interlace the fingers behind your head. Now, I, I, I like it sort of snapped in tightly like so. I don't really like the sort of halfway in between. So I want a good feedback of my head, on my arm, on my hand, sorry. So interlace the hands or fingers behind the back of your head. Now I want you to rest your head with your hands, cradle the head in your hands. 
hands. The elbows are not down. The elbows are slightly lifted. So your elbows can enter your peripheral vision. So your eyesight, that is. Okay. So into the chest lift here. Inhale, look up here. Now as you exhale, allow the ribs to deflate. And that take you into the chest lift. And return. Repeat, breathe out. Let's inhale, return. And again, breath out, ribs. Inhale. And breathe out. Let's hold that for a second. Check this, guys. Only to allow the head to rest into your hands. Two arms are working a little bit. Your ribs here, hold it tight. You're not holding the neck in tension like so. Just like to release and a flex forward with abdominal and an inhale to And a breath up. And an inhale to Last one. Bring back. And let's take it. Now we need to hold that chest lift. Wrap the hands at the back of your thighs here. Now, hold that down tight. Use your arms to come up a little higher. Without turning the pump, the bottom, your basic bottom, stand in neutral as much as possible, and allow the arms to help that chest up. Hold that height. Interlace your fingers, and return back. Yeah, you are talking. Wow, something just went off. Right that I think um, the bulb just burst in the studio. <laughs> All right, sorry guys. Breathe that. Arms and the thighs. Take this up a little higher. Hold that height. Hands. And then come back. And again. Breath that. Hands and the thighs. Up a little high, and let's stay there, guys. I want you to reach your hands in front of you like so. We're going to add some rotation here. Focusing on the twist around the waist. Breathe up. Twist. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Try and maintain the height of the chest lift. And inhale. One more each side. Come back. Hands up a little higher. Guys. Hold that time. Ease that shoulder. Stay. And transfer your hands back. Into a small arm lift. And then return back again. Good job. All right, now let's take your arms up to the ceiling here. Palms facing towards the knees. We're going to do some hundreds preparation, or hundreds prep. We'll take your arms overhead. Now take care that you don't arch and change the upper body here. I want you to allow the ribs to lengthen down towards the pelvis here. Okay? And now take your arms up to the ceiling and bring that coming up into that chest lift. Inhale. And then the head, chest comes down. With an arching your upper back. And an arms. Head lift, chest lift. And arms. And then chest down, head down, arms back. And arms. Arms. Two more arms. Knee for it. Last one, arms. And then back. And let's take it to hundreds, guys. So, with the hundreds, we're going to do, sorry, the itchiness, we're going to do two exhale, two inhale. Okay? With 
the normal classical way is five in and five out, but we're just going to shorten up to two two because this is a basic class. Okay, so breathe out to come up, stay in the breath, and exhale. Exhale, exhale, inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, inhale, inhale. Three more set. Last set. Hold. Inhale, take your arms and then return back down. Okay, now I want you to take your arms onto what's your back of your thighs here. Look you have here. I want you to just take your feet off for me into a little tiptoe. So we're going to do um, rolling like a ball, but this is more kind of like a preparation. So it's not the classic rolling like a ball. So what I want you to do is have your arms working here. My bicep, my triceps are working the whole of my legs. Now, why don't you sort of rock, 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 and make that rock a little bigger, 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 until you sort of come up onto your sitting position here. Let's do that three more here. So I'm putting my rocking a lot bigger than before here. Come on one more time, and I'll take it up. Boom. Like so. Just gonna set myself back onto the mat. Okay, so now sitting up nice and tall. Finding the shoulder nice and easy here. So I don't want you to hold the shoulders up that way. Okay, so none of none of this. So just pull the shoulders out. Allow the elbows to sort of lengthen out as well. Okay, and your neck stays quite long here. So the roll back. Again, inhale. Allow the spine to grow tall. Then as you exhale, I just want you to find your sitting bone. You know, draw the belly and just rock the pelvis. Tilt the pelvis back to until your arms are fully lengthened, but your abs is nice and scoop. In your right. Exhale. Come on. Upright and allow the spine to grow. Again, exhale, rock the pelvis, curl the pelvis, and just sort of pull away from your arms. In breath, exhale, deflate the belly, and then use your arms to pull yourself in and come up sitting tall. Again, breath out. Rock the pelvis. Okay, here, take care again, guys. That your shoulders are not creeping up that way. Keep it down. Keep the neck long. Keep your focus, your gaze forward. And I breathe out. Over. And a little blank now. One more time. Breathe out. Rock it. In breath. And exhale. Upright. Release. Okay. Moving on into your side. So I'm trying to cover all position, all direction. Now lying on the side like so. So, like my previous video, the bottom of the straight, my legs are straight. In one straight line, rest your head down into your arms. The top hand can go down like the chest here, and then making sure that the lower waist is engaged, is supported, is lifted. You can see a light through it, not sinking down like so here. Okay, the abdominal and your back muscles are working um, together to hold the trunk stability. So as you breathe out again. Scooping the abdominal in, reaching the legs long, and I want you to just lift the legs up. So this is called the side lift. And 
release down. And then bring your head again to lift. Inhale. And then bring your head again to lift. And if you want to try it, you can take your arm the top arm on top here and then break out. Find your balance. Ooh, I lost mine. And then return. And then breathe out. If this is too hard, close your head back. And then return. And one more time. You're going to hold that position, guys. Now we're going to take the top leg up a little higher. And then down. And again, two. And then down. Hold the bottom legs up. And then four, and then down. Five, and then down. And six, and then down. Two more, seven, and down. Last one, eight, and then down. Hold it up, and release it. Okay? Now, tuck your knees in. Drag this elbow. Okay, I want you to sit like a little mermaid here. You can have the outside arm grabbing the underneath the ankle. And then take the open side arm up to a ceiling, and I want you to laterally or sideways stretch your body out. I want to create a nice straight line from the top of your hand down to your hips here. So we're going to inhale, reach out of the way, and exhale, and see if you can go a little deeper. One more in breath. And exhale. Coming up. Alright, let's go to the other side. So lying on the side. For your side lift. Okay. Okay. So organize yourself in a nice long position. Holding onto your center. Bottom waist is nice and lifted. You can press the top arm down to the floor. Breathe out. Let's lift those legs up off the floor. Inhale. And again, breathe out. And an in breath. And again. And you can even take your head here. If you wish to, you don't have to. And. Let's do one more time. Hold. All right, let's take the top leg up for eight, seven. Hold the bottom leg up and four and five and six and seven and eight. Lift that leg up a little bit. And then bring it down. Tap the knees in. Okay? Help yourself up into a little mermaid position. Bring your hand on the underneath side of that shin here. And take the arm up to the ceiling. I want you to inhale to reach out. And then exhale. Off you go for a nice lateral flexion stretch here. And again, inhale, reaching out. Out of the way with the top fingertips. And exhale. And come up right. Okay. Lay one to your front. Face down. Right. So I want to have your arms. Just come a little bit forward. Right. I want to have your arms on the side of your thighs here. So imagine you have like a side pocket here. Right. So this is a little extension series here. So, breathe out. I want you to draw that lower abs up. Just pull it up and engage your hamstrings here so your lower back is lifted, not sinking down. Okay, not like so. Can you see? Not like so. But lengthen it out. All right, so forehead just floating off the floor. Now, as you breathe out again, draw and zip up that pelvic floor, the lower abs. I want you to inhale, just slide the arms in the side pocket and you come lift the upper back up as much as you can and exhale to return. And again, 
inhale, reach it up. And exhale to reach it. And then we inhale. And exhale. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. And last one. Inhale here. Now I want you to hold this position, guys. I want you to take your arms up to the side. Like a little of a little airplane wings here, okay? Lift the chest a little higher. And then from here, I want you to take the arms up. And lower. And now. And lower. And now. And again. Three more. Two more. Last one. And you know what? Let's have four more time, boys. And bring your arms back. And release your head down. Place your hands underneath the shoulders. I want you to push yourself up. Sit the pelvis down into the heels for your rest position. Keeping those arms active, reaching away from the shoulders. And just inhale. Exhale. And lower the pelvis to melt down. In breath. One more. All right, and roll yourself up. Come on up. And that's the end of the pose. Um, I know it's not a long class. I want it to be short. I want it to be a compact, basic workout that you can always come back and do it again and again and again. Get yourself reconnected in your body before we take on to the next level classes. Take care. I'll see you soon.